Are you nervous? Yeah, I am. I am actually. I- I'm trying not to like downplay this. Uh, I-, I think that this could be like the most meaningful episode we ever do. Um, to give you guys a little bit of a background uh, of what's kind of been unfolding, we've, we've got a gentleman, his name's Clark, um, who had a hunting accident a couple years ago, and he's headed in town now to hunt with us. He has not hunted since that accident happened. Um, I'll let him tell his story if he's willing to, but he essentially broke his back and his neck, um, and he's paralyzed from the waist down. We've got a spot, it's, it's one of our absolute honey holes. I've got a ground blind in there and there's a, there's a couple bucks showing up on this field. Uh, one of which is, a dude, it's a big deer. It's a really big deer. It's, it's, remember the one I was hunting late last year and like yeah. the winding days of the season and I couldn't get on him? Well, he's back and he's big. So Clark thinks that he's coming in town just to do a podcast with us and tell a story, but we've got a bigger plan for him and we're actually gonna take him hunting. Um, see if we can't put a deer on the ground. Uh, how all of this kind of, kind of came to be is you guys know Cheeto and BJ with Suburban Bow Hunter, our, our buddies that hunt Birmingham. Cheeto's wife, Beth, um, does like some stretching and things at a facility. And Clark uh, is one of her clients. He goes in there and gets stretched. And so in conversations, uh, Beth and Clark were talking and Clark was saying how he watches Seek One and things like that. And so Cheeto and Beth and BJ were kind of able to orchestrate this thing in the background. I think they're like five <clears throat> five minutes away, um, but Clark and his buddy Brandon are following Cheeto, and they're about to pull up kind of any minute. So I'm probably just as nervous as he is, being honest. Like I I just hope that this thing kind of unfolds in a way that like we would we would hope for. <laughs> hey, I'm Lee. Man, I'm Clark Mason. Nice to meet you. Good Drew. Man, what's up, boss? Nice to meet you. How you doing? Good to meet you, buddy. How y'all doing? doing? Brandon. Drew My buddy, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. Lee. Yeah. Nice Good to meet you. Y'all got it going Good on. Good How are you? I don't know about that. We try, but... Shoot, man. Y'all living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. I'm telling you, we'll... I watched y'all a bunch. Have you? Yeah, a lot. How'd you find our stuff? You too. Yeah, just scrolling Other through YouTube. Videos, yeah, yeah. We, we worked and we did a lot of shutdowns at steel mills and stuff, so we had a lot of downtime. Yeah. Sitting in the trucks. Watching videos. Watching videos, <laughs> so we started bringing like iPads <clears throat> and hooking them up to car speakers and watching. Yeah. And then we just sat there and watched some videos. And I mean, and then I was telling uh, Cheeto when I was in Atlanta, I got shipped, I got uh, the opportunity to go to the Shepherd Center. Mm-hmm. So, I was around some other hunters. I was like, man, they got this young kid running around here at Atlanta. Y'all ain't seen that. <laughs> I said, he's over here killing freaking studs. And like, I said, I didn't know Atlanta was like that. <laughs> and so they would take us on outings and stuff at Shepherd. Man, I'd always be checking, you know, like people's backyard or where yeah, I, yeah, we're yeah. out riding around. I was like, man, <laughs> surely there's as many deer as this boy's killing. I mean, they got to be everywhere. Mm. I, I feel like I've been described that a lot. Of, like, you seen that? Young punk running around Atlanta, <laughs> killed all these days. Everybody's back like, yard. Yeah. That's one thing, man. I've, I've loved hunting, man, for a long time. And I was telling Cheeto, man, this, this time of year is the roughest time for me. This past two years, I mean, summertime I can deal with it, but this is my time of the year right here when the weather starts changing. And mm-hmm. yeah, where I live, it's just woods behind. Like this morning, I was up, and it was 6 o'clock, and got old water oak back there and you hear the makers dropping you know it's falling and it sucks you know because this is when i'm out in the woods you know like scouting because yeah. our season had kicked in and it's just it's pretty tough man yeah. but i yeah. i don't know you don't see on me talk or whatever and yeah well yeah i mean i was hoping we'd love to do a podcast with you and just like yeah man yeah i guess he told you kind of how we sort of heard about you and your story and everything and like yeah his wife went to the place stretch zone and she asked me you know she's like you don't mind me asking you know, like what happened or something like that i was like no you know i was deer hunting and well, i didn't get the opportunity to that day but climbing up in the stand and just like i told cheetos I man it was meant to be i stepped out of it yeah the stand pitched a little bit like the bottom of it slid out or something? Yeah, to the right. I mean, it, 
pitch to the right, and I was had all my weight on the left already because I was hooking my strap up, you know, yeah, my harness up, and man, when it pitched, I just, man, I don't know, like I just stepped out of it, and then when it was, I was in a wide oak, and before I knew it, dude, I was like, oh crap, you know, I grabbed that tree with my right arm, yeah, you know how that scaly bark on a wide oak is. That's one feeling I'll never forget. That feeling and the sound, that bark peeling off. off yeah. And I was like, man, I'm fixing to break my legs. You know, I said, but I got my phone in my pocket. And I was thinking all this, you know what I mean? And, dude, I hit a limb on the way down. And the doctor said that's probably what broke my back. Because I got four in my lower back, T6 through T10. And then when I hit it, made me go forward and I landed at the base of that tree on the back of my head mm -hmm. and felt it, heard it, you know, and it was like a light switch, man. Just boom. And it constant. Like I was telling Cheeto, man, it was it actually was pretty like calming. I mean for it wasn't no pain. It was warm, just tingly, like just it wasn't nothing hurt. The only thing that hurt, I bit my tongue in half. Jeez. Oh, and I had a you know, my binoculars with the chest strap on. Yeah. And it folded me up and I split my chin open and it broke my sternum, broke five teeth, four, uh, five ribs, and I got two major blood clots in my lungs. Jeez. It was a ride, man. How 11, long ago was that? Uh, 17th, 16th was when I fell, 17th when they found me, October, so it's going on two years. Two years, okay. But not even two years. Well, man, it was, and you know, I spent most of last year all in the hospital. Yeah, I knew I messed up like when I hit the ground and everything happened like that, and yeah. I couldn't move or whatever. But I kept telling myself, I said, "Hey, look, we're gonna lay here for a little bit, and we're gonna we're gonna get up. We're gonna go yeah, to the we're, we're, yeah, we're gonna go to the hospital, and you know, lay there for an hour or two, or whatever, and." No, there wasn't no moving. It felt like a grown man sitting on my chest. And I was telling Cheeto, like, it was a nice day like this. And when it started getting dark, you know, that's when I was like, all right, you know, time to buckle up. Like, it's going to be a long night. Mm -hmm. And the first night was tough, man. You know, I didn't sleep a wink sit out there and I got right with God right then and there laid everything out on the table and man I poured everything out that I had and talked to him all night long out loud and uh cause we had a bad problem with a bunch of coyotes around there and so right when it started everybody knows if you hunted long enough you know how when it starts getting dark and you gotta you know coyotes on your property they like to get to, you know rowdied up and here I am my face covered in blood you know and I was like they got a freaking buffet right here boys you know if you're if you're down I'm out we Let's would do love it. to do a podcast with you just to hear yeah. hear you unpack your story and I think that people that hear it could definitely be Whenever you want impacted to. but on top of that uh, if you're down I've got a ground blind where there's a couple really nice deer showing up. If you want to go hunt tonight, we've got everything lined up. I know that was not part of your plan, but we're throwing it at you. <laughs> tonight? Tonight. I've got a ground blind and everything. We've got yeah. a truck. We've got, <laughs> dude, we got it all lined up. Heck yeah, man. For real? Y'all serious? I'm being serious. Yeah. There's a buck in there I hunted last year. He made it and he's back and he's big. And there's a couple other nicer young ones too, so it's it's one of my absolute honey holes. Man, I don't even have to I don't even have to shoot nothing. I don't have I mean Well we're gonna shoot something. <laughs> <laughs> this is a something. primo spot. We got everything you need. Man. I don't know what to think, man, for real. Seriously? Yeah. And it's crazy. I used to think that all the time. Like when I was when I watch y'all, I was like, man, that'd be ideal. I'd live around there, be able to hunt them deer. And now I'm going. Man, that's a stud. <laughs> that's the big one that's in there. But there's also, uh, I mean, there's like a 
there's this buck in there. I mean, he's a, you know, just like a bigger six. Right. There's another eight pointer that's probably 115, 120, and it's they're all kind of working this field. But man, it we look. can go kill something, and there's a, there's a chance that that big one's in there. He was there this morning at 7:05 a.m. And y'all tell me, I'm up for it. I'm down with whatever y'all tell me. Man, I appreciate it. That is. Yeah. And y'all don't have to do that. I tell my story and everything. Man, I it'd be an honor to, to go hunt with you. And even if we don't kill anything, man, it, it, it'd just be fun. Is that the right height? Yeah, we'll try that. Man, we might need that trigger thing. You want know, that trigger? Uh, yeah, see, I can push down on it. See, I'm all over it. I ain't moving around or okay. nothing. Now we're using our brains, boys. As Thomas would say, big brain thinking. And a much more southern voice. <laughs> I think this is going to work. Try that. All right. So then all you do is pull. <laughs> Oh, there it is. <laughs> yes. That's it right Perfect. there. That's pretty much the That's same. That's money. That's the same hole. Hey, we're going to kill tonight. something tonight. <laughs> Man. It's going to be fun. Boom. That's so money. Solid. That's so money. Boom. I think that'll work. I think it's going to work. We're dialed. <clears throat> I think we are going to take it to the woods uh what time is it right now guys 210 we gotta go these deer are moving early <laughs> that's like a tank <laughs>
the third. The third, yeah. Okay, you got her. She's rocking on that deck of her. Alright, the thing is 30. Oh, come oh, on. Yeah. Mark, that's a bug. <laughs> that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Oh my god, I'm trying to get this dang camera going. <laughs> Dude, oh my gosh. You kept asking me if I could get on him, and I mean, he came to right to me, man. Hey. He came to me. Man, that was awesome. You freaking smoked Dude, him, dude. I need to. Give me some, man. I would have tied up. <laughs> <laughs> you freaking drilled him. Did he really go down? Yes, I saw him go down, dude. You freaking drilled him. Man. <laughs> man. How many times have we tried to shoot a doe tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, hey, it, was, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> dude, I cannot believe that happened. Oh, my gosh. He was 30. Yeah, he was. <laughs> dude, good shooting, man. I tucked it right behind that shoulder, baby. You smoked him. Oh, man. <laughs> With the old rigged up trigger. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh, man. It's almost been two years, baby. That was meant to be. That was meant to be. You don't know how much this means, Lee. <sighs> Dude, you I'm sure on, he's down? I'm sure he is down. Right. I saw him go down. Dude, I'm, I'm honored to be here for this. I don't know how much this means, Lee. I don't know how much this means, buddy. Dude, I'm honored to be here, man. Man. Honored. And I'll tell you something. That's going down in my record book of probably the most memorable hunt. Some of the most memorable hunts I've ever had. <laughs> Man, I appreciate it, dude. You don't you don't know how much. Dude, I, <laughs> I ain't had a smile on my face this big in a long time. <laughs> dude, I thought I never would get back in the woods. And y'all pulled that good podcast joke on me. <laughs> It's not a joke. We're still doing the podcast. <laughs> we just but I never did think get, this was going to happen, man. <laughs> hey, here's blood right here. Hey, he's pouring. See it all right here? Yeah. What's that here? Yeah, and he's... 
Yo, I got, y'all got some lights. Is it covered up? I've got my phone. Yeah, I just got my phone. I left it in my flashlight. <clears throat> I got a headlamp. That'll I work. figured. I told Lee we'll wait because one thing what me and you love to do. Yeah. My favorite. Thing. Look at that. That's the arrow. Here we go. <sighs> Good to me. Yeah. Went left. You want to get some views? Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm filming. <laughs> oh. Look at this. See more than a doe. Dude. That thing's got a little I knew I'd take the press leaf or nothing. Shot. Shot. Dude, he Damn. smoked him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude. Dang. Man, dude, thank you very much. Dude, man. Awesome. Congrats, I'm hugging you up. Man, thank you. <laughs> dude, that's awesome, man. Thanks so for everything. Cool, you tell your wife thank you. I just clicked, Lee just clicked off the safety for the fourth time. <laughs> and it, I was like, man, you know, let's just, let's, let's make it happen. Let's shoot a doe. And all of a sudden, you know, that doe, she, I don't know if she trotted off or something. I mean, they were just going nuts. And then we've well, been hearing something to the left. And all of a sudden Lee's like, hey, man, that's a buck, you know, a shooter. <laughs> and he come in and he made a scrape. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dude, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's, you got it all. Dude. Oh, yeah. I got it all. And then video. when I turned, like, Lee's like, can you get on it? Can you get on it? So I, like, tried to hustle. And all of a sudden, just, like, froze up. And I'm like, man, don't, not now. <laughs> you know, a body just gets so tense and yeah. tight. I'm like, oh, not now. Not now. Oh, my God. Dude, let's go. Dude, I'm so pumped. Yeah, we were going nuts in the blind. <laughs> Dude, I would have. I would have yeah. been freaking I out. I could it. stop smiling. I would have torn that blind up. Like, <laughs> we kind of did. I would have tore it up. Yeah, Lee's like, hey, look, man, let's just get out of here and just lift it up over us. <laughs> if we successfully also drag this thing out we're going with the track chair, we just hit all kind of different levels of engineering today. <laughs> Hammer down. I was right. bit. Take off, Sea Biscuit. Look at that. Oh <laughs> Look at that. Oh I almost feel like this is cheating. <laughs> we up, boy. It was just like a look of just like, I'm not gonna kill this thing. I, I'm serious. If you guys don't believe in the answer prayer, look right there. Now, it ain't always when you order it. Yeah. But he always answers. Uh, Cheeto and I were talking on the way here. I'm che I could tell Cheeto was nervous. Like, you know what? You know, think a deer will come out. I'm like, man, I was like, all this stuff to, to happen the way that it's going, like, it's out of our control and it's just going to be. Now you're talking. Yeah. That's yeah. God doing his thing. Yeah. That's right. He showed up. He this was, this was around. incredible. Let's go get the steer cleaned up at the house. How about it? Sounds good. Got her done, huh? Got her done. Dang. Get a good picture. Oh, man. Wait till you see the shot on this thing. The old string worked out for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, in closing for this episode, I do think that this was the most meaningful episode that we've probably ever done um, in the history of Seek One. And I feel like I've come out of it with a different perspective, a changed perspective, just a lot of appreciation for things I think I take for granted every single day. Um, I feel like I'm extremely encouraged after watching Clark get back in the woods 
and conquer a fear um, that I think that he had been almost dreading for a long time, not sure if he believed in himself enough to, to do it. And to kind of take that on in such a fearless way and prove to himself that he can still do that um, is uplifting to me, and it just makes me think of the own hurdles I've got in my own life. And so I hope that everybody watching this episode has a takeaway, feeling encouraged, um, that whatever hurdles, whatever obstacles that you guys are facing or that you all have in your ways, that um, after seeing Clark's story, that maybe you feel a little bit more like you can do it. Um, so this was an absolute privilege. Um, I will never, ever, ever forget that day and that hunt. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. And we also did a full podcast where we unpack all of Clark's story. So that'll be coming out the same time this episode launches if you guys want to hear his full story of what happened on that day. Huge thank you to Cheeto, BJ, uh, Cheeto's wife, Beth, and everybody that was involved behind the scenes, even Clark's wife, Erica, um, to kind of make this thing all, all come together. So appreciate you guys watching. I hope that this lifts you up and uh, gets you guys excited to go back hunting in the woods.